Hey, you guys, SEK the Homesteader here with another harvest, you guys. So y'all can see those cukes is coming in like crazy right now. The tomatoes is starting to come in. Lots and lots of tomatoes are out there. They're still green. So I'm gonna give them another week that, to hang on uh, to their uh, vines or whatever your stems, whatever you guys wanna call them and um, let them get a little bit right, but they are getting big over there. Um, so I was able to harvest lots of cucumbers, a few peppers, some tomatoes, different variety. I see my pear tomatoes are coming in over there as well. And the uh, Haas eggplant, uh, I forgot the exact name of these. And remember in the video, I had showed you guys how big these zucchinis was getting. And I got to them today. We had a few um, yellow uh, squ uh, squash, straight neck, crook neck, whatever you want to call them. And our scallop um, squash, um, patty squash. And um, I decided to try to leave them on there just a little bit longer because I noticed um, that they can get a little bit taller. And um, I definitely want to uh, do some type of recipe on them, maybe stuff them. I think that's what I really want to try and do. Right now, I'm just dicing and slicing and I'm doing a little stir fry with them right now with like garlic and butter and onions, things of that nature. Quick, you know, quick, um, tasty uh, vegetables like that. But I definitely want to stuff them bad boys. They look like they'll be great stuffed with some type of um, chopped meat, maybe with some sauce some cheese things of that nature like how we do um the sweet peppers the stuffed sweet peppers i think that'll go great but for the most part i've been stir frying my uh, zucchini and um i did do some pickling on my last harvest i made two jars of pickles and um i did the hot brine way where you boil the water and the vinegar and you get it real hot and let us let it uh steep um overnight and when i tell you them things came out so good i garlic them up like crazy and um i used some of the granulas that helped to get your uh um pickles crispy and i used this other seasoning with um uh, dill and other kind of seasonings in there it's a walmart uh pickling pack like that um those are easy to find but um it was an easy peasy um method but i like the hot the hot brine better than it just better than you making a brine and it having to sit for days because when it's hot it will um the uh picklings i mean the uh, cucumbers will pick up the seasoning real quick and they get they get cooked up real quick if it's i don't know if it's a fermented process i think it is a form of fermenting i forget but um i also use the kosher salt uh pickling salt not kosher salt pickling salt um but i think um my next video i'll show you guys how i did that but a lot of us know how to do pickling um so this is sek harvest for the day and i hope everyone is doing well continue to stay safe you guys and i know um we're dealing with some hurricanes coming across through the golf area so i'm hoping that all of our friends and youtube family is doing well and i hope everyone um it's harvesting. I hope they're having a grand harvest this season. Um, everything is doing really well, you guys. So I'm just super excited. I'm so happy to be harvesting all this food. And yes, I am sharing my harvest with neighbors. We got guys working in the neighborhood, cutting grass. So I've been sharing a lot of my harvest, you guys, because when it starts to come in, it's kind of um, hard to keep up with, um, you know, prepping and making sure you don't lose your harvest by anything spoiling so you definitely want to share because once it starts to come in it comes in full um blast so um next week i'm so looking forward to uh seeing how the um grow area is being transformed and i also forgot you guys i also forgot to give you guys a clip of the strawberry patch and the blueberry patch i totally forgot about that but the strawberry patch right now is still producing strawberries, but there is one plant that keeps sending out runners. So what I'm doing with that one plant is um, letting it create the runners because I want to I wanted to develop other plants. So that one plant I'm using to develop other plants. 
but overall it's still producing but after a while you know the heat is going to take its toll and then we'll be done with strawberry season but a lot of times if the season is not harsh you'll still continue to get strawberries so i just let my my little patch do what it do um we also have grapes out there you guys they are tucked in the trellis area and i forgot to bring you guys some footage on there they're they're hanging from the vine they looking really good the birds haven't gotten to them yet but i think as the years go on the production of the grapes will get better and hopefully next season i will be actually planting more grapes because i had two of my grape um uh, vines uh didn't come back so i had replanted some more grapes so my next uh season of sowing grapes will be i'll probably be sowing a lot of um roots because i definitely want to be harvesting grapes every year lots of them and eating them <laughs> but all right family so this is sek the homesteader bringing you a video of my harvest today and i hope everyone is doing well thank you so much for tuning in to my journey and i hope you guys are inspired to grow 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 and i will see you guys on the next video peace love and light family sek is out